this next article, uh, Link Marine, Dave Portney, uh, Link to the Moon. If you don't know who Dave Portney is, so Portney, internet celebrity, blogger, and founder of Barstool Sports. What's Barstool Sports? Some kind of blog thing for all different things that having to do with sports in the sporting industry. And what's so great about that is this guy sold it uh, apparently for $450 million. So congratulations to that guy. Not too shabby. So he was the one a couple years ago who, who was just, he, he did this viral tweet, uh, this video, where he just talked about Bitcoin. He's like, I don't understand. It doesn't make any sense. Da, da, da. He's a very outspoken guy. Pretty entertaining. Good, you know, good for him. But uh, so over the last uh, weekend or so, this is what happened. Dave Portner, Portney, founder and president of Barstools, invested 50000 in Chainlink on Thursday, August 13th. Seemed excited earlier today as Link broke through $19 to an all-time high. And then this is a video where, because what he did in one of his videos, he said, hey, I don't understand Bitcoin. He did one again. And he said, bring those Winklevoss guys up here uh, to, to help help me explain because I don't understand any of this stuff. And Winklevoss twins actually went to his house and, uh, you know, said this is what it is. And, of course, he recorded it and put it on social media because that's, that's what he does. Good for him. And uh, so he did the whole thing. And then they said they were going through the whole rigmarole and, and spiel. And uh, so Portney goes, so what's his Bitcoin? They explain what it was. And he goes, okay, well, I got 250000 What should I do? And they're like, well, you, you know, getting that. And he's like, but I also heard of this thing called Chainlink. What, what about that? And the and the twins were like, yeah, you know, it's pretty good. And da, da, da. And they tried to explain it to him. And he's like, well, should I do like a 50-50 split or what? And they said, eh, I think. And, of course, these guys are big, you know, they're heavy in a Bitcoin. They bought Bitcoin back when it was like nothing. So, like, you know what? Put the majority in Bitcoin. So you put 200K in Bitcoin. 50k on Chainlink, and of course, what happens? Pfft, Chainlink goes up, you know, you know, majorly over the weekend. I mean, it went over, it went over way more than Bitcoin did. We'll just say that. So, what made this interesting was down here. It says, "What makes Portney's interest in crypto significant is that he's the leader of an army of day traders on U.S. trading platform Robinhood, and this promotion of crypto assets could help to increase their adoption." By over 1.7 million Twitter followers, many of whom are U.S. millennials, and he pretty much just put it out there on on his Twitter feed. He said, "Link to the moon," and then someone says, "I didn't get in early enough," and da da da. And he just talks about Bitcoin now and cryptocurrency. So, if if he's talking to these traders who are millennials who have a good amount of money, and he's like, "You know what? I made uh, you know 10 percent or 12 percent or something like that." And can you imagine what's going to happen over the next month or so as people start to maybe have a little bit of, of increase in the traditional stock market, and then we're going to see cryptocurrency? I I personally believe go up you know, way higher than that if he starts tweeting these things out to all these people that he has on Twitter and then that one person tells two people and those two people tell ten people and so on and so forth it's a big network effect now it's not just one person that is going to be a catalyst obviously but it's all these different dominoes that start to fall which will lead to another massive bull run and I think this is just one more cog in the machine and speaking of that let me go on to my next piece, which talks about Warren Buffett. We had covered this yesterday about Buffett getting into gold, specifically a mining company of gold. Let's jump in the office so I can explain myself. All right.